Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. We are currently on the way to our 15 week appointment. To a giant pumpkin patch. Give a zoom I haven't that. gotten to do any fall Come things. on, give a zoom <laughs> Jay Waz is rubbing it in about how I've not gotten to do any fall things this year because. We have this toxic trait where October is by far the best month in Tennessee. And for some we reason, always leave. we always leave. I don't know why. And every year we're like, we really should be around in October. Never. And then we never, never are. Happen. Anyway, we are on our way to our 15 week appointment for the BB. And I think in this week's appointment, we're going to hear the heartbeat. We're first stopping at Chick fil A because yeah, it's, important. it's been my number one Always craving. Have like two Chick fil A's a day for the last. <laughs> Seven days. At it's least. not not true though. I just it always sounds good. <laughs> Where are we going tomorrow? The airport. <laughs> We're going to Italy. <laughs> For a baby moon, and we haven't packed at all or prepped anything, have we? Literally, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's also going to be like 58 degrees in Como. Maybe 60s. We might get 60s. I don't know, a big like We're gonna take some powerful naps wave of cold we're came. Tired. We're tired. We looked at the weather and last week it was literally like 75 degrees and sunny and perfect. Yeah, let me see. And what then we looked at the week that we're gonna be in Como and it's like three days of rain and 62 yeah. degrees. And like a lot of rain. So. Ooh, wow, it's a lot of rain. Yeah, but I think Florence is... Florence should be nice. Still a lot of rain, but... Oh, really? It's a little high, high 60s. It'll be nice in Florence, I think. Rip. <laughs> it's fine. We'll have quality time together in the hotel room. All right, we just got back from our doctor's appointment and everything looks good. Honestly, I feel like these appointments are so fast, which I think is a good thing that, you know, there's nothing that is, you know, a complication where we would need to like stay and talk about it. But really, it was like maybe a, a seven minute appointment where we heard the heartbeat and the doctor was like, Your labs look great. Everything looks great. You're doing great. Any changes? And I was like, Not really. And he was like, Great. Come back for your 20 week. And I said, Okay. So that was basically it. Just got home. We are going to pack for Italy now. And as you guys can see, we've got a lot to open up. Basically, this last two weeks, which I talked about um, on Instagram really quickly, has been chaos. Like, it has been the most packed two weeks that we have had in a very, very long time. And I will be able to share more about what's been going on in a future video, hopefully. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't mean to be super vague. It's just like something I don't wanna share yet, but I do wanna share with you guys. So just know it's coming, it's just not yet. But we've just had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on. And so things in our personal life <laughs> have just been piling up literally. So we've had a stack of boxes that we've just shoved in the garage and haven't looked at for two weeks. And so we have some stuff to open up and I'm excited because we haven't done like a proper unboxing on this channel in so long. And I think we've got like some Abercrombie. I've got some Bay stuff to show you guys that I got for Italy. I've got like a little maternity set. That's not necessarily a maternity set, but like could be for the flight. And so we're gonna do a little pack with me for Italy slash unboxing vlog. Cause I think some of the stuff I wanna take with me on our trip, definitely in that point where I don't know what bottoms will like fit me besides these like made wall trousers. These have been saving my actual life. Whew. So out of breath just from like talking to you guys. I'm gonna go get the box cutter and we're just gonna get into this stuff because there's so much. Also, I ended up getting some new luggage for our trip because the wheel on my old big suitcase broke from travel and I really, really wanted a Bayes one because my old one was kind of like, it was not honestly a great suitcase, which is why it broke, but I decided to splurge and just get the whole set. So this is the big size. I actually have the medium one too. I just didn't bring it in because I'm not gonna take the medium one. And then this is the small carry-on version and I've used Bayes luggage, at least like the carry-on for years and I am obsessed with my carry-on that I have. So super excited to have like a full size version of this luggage and it's so nice you guys like this color it's called maple and it's like the perfect in between brown and like a really muted deep red it is so stunning it also has a padded handle and it's just like it's so smooth and amazing it expands really really wide and it's just so functional on the inside as well it also has like this little hook here where you can put a purse on the front of your suitcase but 
it's so nice and so i'm so excited for the big one because my old big suitcase was like seriously so so cheap but this one i was like you know what be nice to have like a really good set of luggage so very excited about these so this is my black carry-on i've had for like a year and a half and i've also had a cream one i actually ended up giving the cream one to a friend when i got the black one and now that i have this mahogany colored one jason's gonna take this one because he's honestly he's been jealous of my base suitcase for quite some time i'm telling you guys it's the best the best suitcase so i'm gonna take off my luggage tag and put it on my luggage look how pretty this looks next to each other oh. It's like real adult life when you finally invest in some good luggage. What should we open first? I guess let's just start here. Got some Abercrombie. This might actually be, that's for Jason. Jason has been loving Abercrombie lately, so I got him a few pieces. So I'm sure he'll take them on the trip as well. But yeah, we just haven't opened any of this. This one's me. Ooh, cozy, so pretty. And it's long enough in the back where I could wear it with leggings and in the front where I think it will like cover the beginnings of a baby bump. I'm gonna try stuff on with you guys because I want to figure out what to pack and what outfits to take. So I definitely want to do like some try-ons with you so we can figure out what I'm gonna wear together. I definitely do not want to pack something I haven't tried on yet. That feels like a disaster, okay. This sweater, guys, I now have in two colors because it's the best. You guys will recognize it in cream. It's the one that I said is just like the Ginny Kane one. I got it in taupe and it is so soft. Like, I wish you guys could feel this one in person because it is truly so dreamy and amazing. I know that will fit because I got the same size as my last order. I ordered it a set off Amazon. I've seen this thing go around so many times. Different influencers have posted about it and then my friend Mary Helen ended up getting it in black and I was like oh my gosh that's so cute and she was like you should totally order it because it works with like early stages of pregnancy and then for postpartum she was saying it's been amazing so i ordered it in brown i asked you guys what color to get in this set and you were like get the taupe one so i went to go order the taupe one and sadly it wasn't gonna arrive on time for our trip so i got the brown and we're gonna try it on after i open everything up and i think it's gonna be nice too because i can actually roll it but it looks like there's gonna be lots and lots of room for a little bump i got it in an extra small here's the matching top again it's kind of like a tunic style where it's like longer in the front and back to cover the belly. So I'm thinking about that being my travel outfit. It's like cute, but still very, very cozy. Oh, I think this might be my friend Kathleen's activewear line. Oh, it is. I don't know that this is gonna fit me, guys. Aww. Okay, I'm definitely gonna link this stuff down below for you guys, and we might try it on, but I, I honestly don't know that these are gonna fit, but like how beautiful is this color? So this is the Abercrombie Kathleen Post activewear collab, and oh, wait, this will totally fit though. I saw Kathleen post about this vest in her like sneak peek of her collection with Abercrombie. Oh, wait, yes. I love this so much, it's like cropped. So cute. Okay, definitely, definitely will fit me. Then we've got a little like cropped activewear sweatshirt, which I guess I can just throw this on now. I have a little bra tank on. Wait, I'm literally so sad. That's like the thing I'm really bummed about is my activewear not really fitting anymore because obviously my body's changed and crop stuff just isn't gonna work for me in a bit. But this is the activewear top or the little like throw on hoodie i definitely feel like so it's so cute i just wish i wasn't like <laughs> my body wasn't changing on me so quickly but that actually still fits so i could definitely wear that with like my wasted leggings it's just for how long i i don't know there is a matching bra just like i think this might fit it's an extra small but like my boobs have gotten so much bigger so again sizes are a little bit tricky but I'll link her collection down below because so pretty. Ooh, flare leggings. Love. I think those are gonna be too tight though for me. I'm actually really, really sad. Okay. Ooh, are these the flare leggings in green? It might be worth just seeing if I can like squeeze into these. These are so cute, this color. And then they have like a slit on the side so you can wear them with your mini Uggs. Okay. Honestly, might try to squeeze into those. And the bodysuit. 
feels like it's worth trying on. So I'm gonna keep opening up stuff and then we'll do a try on. This is my Revolve stuff that I ordered, which is more base travel stuff. I ended up getting a hanging cosmetic bag for all of my toiletries. So like my hair products and all of my like skincare and stuff like that. I thought it'd be nice to have one that could hang in a bathroom because I'm not sure about like counter space with some of these hotels that we're staying in. I know our Lake Como hotel will have really good space, but I wasn't sure about some of the smaller hotels we're staying at. So I got this, it hangs on the door, which is so great for space saving. And then it's got like pockets, put all my like shampoo bottles here, or, like perfumes, or just larger items. And then these are actually clear bags, which is so nice. You can see what your products are. And because they're plastic, if you put any like liquids in here, like perfumes or shampoos or body washes or lotions and they explode, it's not gonna like get all over your bag. Like you can just wipe it out. So this one was like one of the best ones I had seen online. So I'm very, very excited for this and the fact that it hangs I thought could be really nice. My cosmetic bag is also from Bayes and I love it. So I knew that their like hanging bag would be really, really nice and like good quality. And then I ended up getting some storage cubes, but I actually might return these because I want to show you guys these other ones that I got off Amazon. So these are the ones I got off Amazon. And what I really liked about these packing cubes is that they're really, really soft and compact. Whereas the base ones I think are more, they might be more rigid. I'm not totally sure. I don't wanna like open this because I think I might return them. Whereas I feel like when you really wanna save space, you want something that's a little bit more flexible and bendable. So I got these ones off Amazon. I think I'm gonna keep these ones. And what's really cool about these is that they actually like collapse. So look, there's like so many that like pack in themselves. And then, so you basically can expand them like this where they have depth. And then you can compact them by zipping them up. So you can like squish all your clothes down and make them super, super small and then pack them up like that. So I think these actually make a lot more sense for what I would be using packing cubes for, which is like trying to save space. So I'm gonna hold on to these and then, hi, Mr. P. Here, come on, come on, go outside, come on, bye. No, there's too much going on here. Goodbye, love you. I think these make more sense for what I'm using the packing cubes for, which is to save space. My plan is to return the other ones. And this set also comes with a little bag for shoes, which is really nice. So I'll link those. I got those off Amazon. Another thing I got off Amazon is a travel steamer and it's super, super small and compact. And I thought this would be really nice to have, not just for this one trip, but for all of my trips, I'm always like, oh, I don't have a steamer. So this one is not only small, but it's actually really cute as well. So it looks like this. Look how tiny that is and then it pops out like this and then you can just steam your clothes. Next up, we've got some shoes from Dolce Vita. These are so pretty. I don't know that I'm gonna take these on my trip to Italy because I'm not sure when I'm gonna wear these, but the holiday parties, guys, are those not stunning? I love, 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 love. I like want to wear those. I don't know how practical it is to put these in my suitcase, but like, how pretty. Glossier box. Oh my gosh, guys, what the heck? They sent me two of the U perfumes in the big bottle. So this is the 100 milliliter bottle, which the Glossier U perfume has been my favorite for a long, long time. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she just threw that across the room. Another Dolce Vita box. Look how cute these are. The little buckle. Patent leather. Those are gonna be so cute with all of the holiday dresses. Obsessed, I love the little buckle on the side. Those will look so cute with socks or tights too. Sparkly headband, which I feel like I could actually like take this cute that is. I'm like already in the holiday mood. Everything is sparkly and glittery. I got this champagne skirt that I thought could be pretty with like a sweater over it, like so. It's a full length, like maxi skirt. I got this sweater in a almost like 
tan colorful yarn version last year. I love it so much. I ended up getting it in cream because it's just so cozy and kind of like oversized. And I really like the sleeves on it. So I got it in cream. Probably gonna take that on our trip. It's gonna be a little bit cooler, like I said. So how cool. Guys, look at this. Okay, so this is a jacket that converts into a vest. And this is probably the piece that I was the most excited about. I ordered this stuff so long ago, like weeks ago. And I'm telling you, it's just been sitting in the garage. But, okay, so this is a jacket. I'm probably gonna take, should I take this with me? So cute. Pierre, no scratching. And then you can unsnap the sleeves. I am obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. It's like so cozy on the inside too. You unsnap the sleeves and all of a sudden guys, it's a vest. Like what? So cute. Honestly, I think I'm gonna take this with me cause it's gonna be kind of chilly. I feel like this would be so nice to have. A little vest jacket combo. And then I also got a brown turtleneck. I guess this is a dress. It does feel short to be a dress. This might just be like a long, maybe like a dress to wear over leggings. I was thinking about wearing this underneath the vest with like a tall boot. Could also wear it with like leggings. It's like a beautiful chocolate brown, super, super soft. Last pair of Dolce Vita shoes. Look at these super sleek, like Western boots. They have a zipper on the side and they have a tall ankle. What's nice is that the ankle is actually really, really soft. So even even though they're like a super tall angle, they should be pretty comfortable because it's like more of like a super soft leather. Those are so chic. I love those. I don't know how I'm gonna figure out what to pack and take with me because I just feel like, obviously I wanna go for comfort, but I don't think we'll be doing like too much crazy, like walking all day. We're trying to have like a relaxing time. So maybe I'll take those because those are so cute. Okay, one more box here, and then we're gonna actually start packing. I just wanted to open all the stuff up to know what I was gonna take. This one is so much cute Abercrombie. Guys, look at this. How cute. That is so precious. I think this is Jaywalk. That's Jaywalk. I'm gonna let him open that. I got a kind of oversized sweatshirt to wear with leggings. All right, I thought that could be nice for like a travel day. And then kind of a mixture of like comfy clothes and cute clothes. So this is like a long sleeve kind of workout tee. It's not really a workout tee, but it's like kind of like a slicker material, lightweight, cute underneath a vest and so, so soft dress. It's strapless. So gorgeous. And I feel like this could actually work with the bump because it's a little bit like stretchy. Again, I gotta like try this stuff on because I feel like you just don't know until you try it on. But this is, I think the same sweater as the blue one. No, different material. This is more of like a cozy yarn. This is a sweater dress. Okay, definitely taking this because it's long sleeve. This is another sweater dress. Ooh, maybe taking this one too because it's a maxi style. Almost a maxi. I think it goes down to like my ankles. That would be a really good dress to have for a trip because it's like a lot longer. Got another cozy sweater. This one is like a big funnel neck sweater. So cute. So many good cozy sweaters. I might just honestly take all my Abercrombie stuff. It's gonna be one big Abercrombie trip for me. This is a little jumpsuit and I saw this online. I thought maybe this would work because my bump is obviously very, very small. It's very like oversized. What size did I get? Extra small, petite. It still feels like really oversized. So I'm interested. I'll have to try that one on. It's probably one of those things that like looks cuter when you put it on and when you're opening it. Another little dress could be nice. Another cozy sweater. Literally just gonna wear sweaters the entire time in my made well tailored pants. That's been my actual uniform the last like three weeks. It's felt like another sweater dress. Oh, I love this. It has buttons. Do you see the buttons down the sides? Really gorgeous long sleeve. Definitely taking that dress. This is a faux leather little like shirt jacket. That could be super nice to have to throw over a sweater or wear it like as a shirt. So that could be kind of fun. Very different than like what I have. Trying to figure out how to dress cute and comfy during pregnancy. And then last piece, this is another little cable knit 
super, super cute. Okay, we've got a lot to try on now. Okay, so I set out my current stuff that I'm thinking about taking. I got some maternity kind of like more slim fitted tailored pants that I might take. Brought down my made well trousers, like a really comfy Everlane dress, a longer coat, some dresses. I'm gonna try this stuff on, try to piece together some outfits. Obviously I wanna bring stuff that I can like mix and match. So we're gonna try to be as versatile as we can, but I feel like there's a lot of really, really good stuff to work with. So I'm gonna go through this pile and figure out if there's some outfits to be made. Okay, first up the Amazon set, which actually fits perfectly. I thought it was gonna be way too long and like drag at the airport but once I have my tennis shoes on, it's gonna be amazing. It is super high-waisted, so it fits over the little bump. And I've got on the matching sweater. Jay Waz did point out the fact that I'm gonna be the exact same color as my luggage. Wait, show them, show them me and my luggage um. in this outfit. <laughs> is this too much? Where'd you go? I can't find you. It's quite close, yes, but. It's a good one time. bag will be checked, so I won't be with both of them. So just be me and this little bag. But the inevitable picture out front with both of them. Mr. V, what do you think about all this brown? He's like, too much brown. He's like, guys, please take me to Italy. I want to eat lots of pizza. And one. <laughs> Wow, strong eye conduct from my guy. Mr. P. So I went ahead and I threw on those Madewell trousers in cream on. So believe it or not, I have these in cream and in khaki. You guys saw the khaki ones earlier, but these are the cream ones. They work so well right now for me and they're so comfy. So I still get the look of like a tailored pant, but they're really, really comfy. This is the cardigan I have in cream in the taupe color and it is so cozy and amazing. I love too that you can wear it open over a tank so i'm definitely gonna pack some of my favorite abercrombie tanks so this is definitely an outfit also i tried on the boots and i'm not like a hundred percent sure i'm gonna take these because i don't know if i'm gonna be wanting to walk around in heeled boots while we're there but they are really nice and just like kind of classic i love the pointed toe and how tight they are around the ankle i think they're super chic so i might take these i want to like keep wearing them around and see but I'm gonna try on a bunch of sweaters for you guys. We're gonna just like rapid fire through some sweaters. This is that Revolve sweater that I already know I love so much. I just, I don't know, something about the shape of it is so just cozy and easy. So the sleeves I really, really like because they're kind of like bubbly and then it's got a wide kind of like collar on it. And then it just looks so good, like slouchy or tucked up underneath a bra. If I can do this with one hand, just kind of like, like that. So probably gonna take this one because it's like a classic cream sweater. This is the next sweater and it's got this huge turtleneck to it. It's a little bit of a, I'd say like a medium length, not like too long, but could definitely tuck it up under a tank bra and wear it kind of cropped like this. I feel like this is so just cute and neutral and classic. I feel like if I brought all these sweaters for this trip, I wouldn't have like any regrets. And I feel like this trip, I just wanna be cozy, but still feel like me. So this would also look so good with leggings. I'm gonna throw the Sherpa vest on with this. So this is the vest and I am actually obsessed with this vest. I feel like I really wanna wear it with black jeans, but I don't have any black jeans that fit me right now. So these are the maternity pants that I got from H&M. And I know I'm a little bit early to wear maternity pants, but they, they do fit pretty well. I'll link them down below if you're looking for some, but they're more like a straight leg. They're still very much like a trouser, but I feel like it's still very me which is fun and I that's what I've been trying to figure out with this like little bit of a bump that's gonna get bigger is like how do I still dress like myself so I feel like this could definitely work and then I could wear these pants with other sweaters and I can dress them down with a sneaker like this could also wear this vest with leggings or my flare leggings which I'm definitely thinking about taking as well so I just I love this jacket so much I just think it's so cozy and the fact that you can remove the sleeves and make it into a vest like this is just so fun Especially where we're going, where in Como it's going to be a little bit cooler. And then once we get to Florence, it's going to be a little bit warmer. So to have something that feels more versatile seems nice. Okay, I think I also might take my Lululemon vest because it packs down really small. I also just saw on the site that they restocked this vest in 
all sizes in this trench color, which I got it last October and they never restocked this color. So the fact that they restocked it for this year is huge. Hopefully it's still in stock by the time you guys see this video, but it's one of my favorite like fall pieces that I got last year. I'm wearing it over one of the new sweaters from Abercrombie and Chocolate Brown. I think honestly, everything that I'm gonna take on this trip is gonna be neutral. That way I can mix and match. And again, we're going for like cozy, cozy vibes on this trip. So it's my next piece. Next sweater, this is the gray cable knit sweater. It's a little bit more of a cropped fit. So you can definitely tell I'm wearing maternity pants with this one, but I am bringing some non-maternity pants. You guys saw the made one one. So this will definitely work with that. I wanna bring an assortment of all neutrals, but this one's so cozy and I love a cable knit. So this one's cute too. Next up is this blue sweater, which is also from Abercrombie. And I love the length of it. I feel like it's gonna work as the bump continues to grow. I do have on another pair of H&M maternity pants, which I'm obviously very early to the maternity pant game, but I wanted to grab some just as things started getting tighter. I just wanted to have them versus being like in panic mode with nothing to wear, but I do need to hem these. So I've got the bottoms of these just kind of folded under. I'm going to put a couple stitches in those so that I can wear them, but I've got them on with the same Dolce Vita boots, which are actually perfect. If you have any sort of straight leg or more narrow leg pant, because the ankle on the Dolce Vita boot is so fitted. So I don't know that I'll take this sweater just because again, I'm thinking about going just all neutrals, keeping it really, really easy so that I'm not like panicking about what to wear once I get there. But thought I would show you guys this sweater because it's really, really pretty. All right, so I tried on the leggings and the sports bra. I tried to get on that onesie, but I just think that they don't fit me right now, but this is the zip up from Kathleen's line with Abercrombie and the vest. I think the vest is a total win. I know this is like one big vest video, but I love a vest. I just think they're so fun for layering, especially during the fall. And they're really great to have if you're going somewhere where it's not too cold, but you want another little layer. So this one is a puffer style. It's like thicker than the Lululemon Wonder Puff, I would say. And not like as soft, but it feels more like water resistant, if that makes sense. It's gorgeous though. It has a hood and it's more of like a cropped fit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. My expectations for this were pretty dang low, but I really like it. I obviously need to steam it. I don't think I'm gonna take this on the trip just because it doesn't feel like the most versatile piece to have, but I'm so excited that it fits it has a little bit of room for the bump i wouldn't say it's maternity at all but if you've just got like a little bit you're gonna be okay i also like that you can adjust the belt as tight as you need it and it does kind of fit right under the ribs so as the baby grows there's a little bit of room down there, but I really, really like it. I just, I don't know. I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. I've got it on with the same Dolce Vita boots and I think it would look really good with that Sherpa vest over it as well. So cute. If you are not expecting, I think this would be such a fun fall piece to have. First dress, I actually love this. This fits really, really well. And there's definitely some room to grow, which is really nice. I love the texture on it though. You wouldn't even really need to steam this. I feel like this would travel really, really well. And it also comes with spaghetti straps that you can attach, but I feel like it fits great just as a strapless. I've got it on with the sparkly Dolce Vita shoes, which are so fun and gorgeous. Oh, love this. So maybe if I take this, I can bring like a leather jacket. How gorgeous is this one? Oh my gosh, I feel like this would be the cutest like gender reveal dress. It might be too cold by then for me to wear it for that. Also, I feel like I need to self tan with something like this, but I am obsessed with these shoes. I feel like they make my legs look so long from the pointed toe and just the color of them, but how cute this is. Obviously it works if you're not pregnant, but if you are, I think it works really well. Obviously if I was really big, it'd be a lot shorter in the front. So probably will not be able to wear this for my baby shower in January or February. Cause I'm going to be obviously a lot bigger, but for now I think it's so, so cute. Oh, it's just precious. I also love the sleeves cause they're sheer. I like this dress a lot. It's actually really thick. It looks so cute with the little bump, but the only thing I'm worried about is if I bring any short dresses, I have to self tan or bring 
tall boots and I don't want to pack tall boots. I also don't want to feel like I have to self tan on this trip. So probably won't take this one, but definitely going to wear this one when I come back. I think it looks so cute with a tall boot. Next up is this dress from Revolve and I love the sleeves on it. This is that chocolate brown dress. This one is not fitted like the one I just showed you, but I think it looks so good with the vest over it. I'm obsessed. Again, I'm probably not going to take this one because I would probably have to self tan or I wouldn't have to, but I would, I would feel like I should self tan. So probably just going to leave this one back home, but I'm so excited to have these dresses for this fall. I love this one. This one is definitely going with me. I love that it's long enough, but you can still see a little bit of the shoe. So I could wear this with a heel or wear it with these boots because they have such a narrow ankle to them. I think they look so good with a dress like this. I could throw a leather jacket over it, a vest over it. I love this one. Look at the ribbing on it too. So nice. Definitely taking this dress too. I love the button detailing. So pretty. A little tiny bump. Got on the Dolce Vita shoes and I'm gonna leave these because these definitely need to be broken in and I obviously will not want to be breaking these ones in in Italy. So how pretty is this dress? Oh my gosh. I love this one so much. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna wear this on the plane. I think I might. Do you think that's gonna be cute? Yeah, I like that. So my plane outfit is the Amazon set, puffer vest, brown purse, probably my Everlane sneakers. I'm gonna pack these two pairs of boots, one black, one brown. And then I've got three dresses. This one, short sleeve, two long sleeve dresses, some active wear, the Sherpa vest jacket combo, leather pullover kind of jacket, lightweight to wear over some sweaters, stack of sweaters, three pairs of pants. And then I think I'm gonna bring this, but I don't know that I'm gonna bring those two cardigans. I'm kind of leaning towards not bringing these, but I think that's kind of it. We'll see, let's get it in the suitcase and we'll find out. Okay, it is like nighttime now. <laughs> we ate dinner, had the house sitter come by and learn everything they need to learn for Pierre and Riley, but got my carry-on almost packed. I'm gonna carry all of my makeup and skincare, curling iron stuff in this suitcase. Then I have some comfy clothes to change into. I have basically like two sets of clothing in case our suitcase gets lost, all my underwear will be in this one. And then over here, I've got everything else. So I put the two pairs of boots in here. I'm I'm gonna wear my pair of tennis shoes, packed some slippers, I've got my shampoos, my razor, my light up mirror, extra sunglasses, comfy clothes, and then this is all of my clothing in here. I ended up getting everything in here and being 40 pounds, so we're both underweight. Can you believe it? Like our bodies. <laughs> no, our luggage. I don't look no. Yeah, I cannot believe. So this is like, I think 40 or 41 pounds. This won't really matter because that's going on the plane with me. We won't be coming home from Italy underweight, am I right, lady? That's right, fam. Gonna pack my backpack with my camera, my iPad, my laptop. Because unfortunately, I do have a little bit of work that I'm gonna have to do. Rip me. Jaywaz is packed up, carry-on's packed up. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow, my puffer vest, my knit set, taking this little Madewell bag because it gets really close to my body and it zips up. And then I also am bringing my Lululemon belt bag that will be close to my body. And in here, got my skincare all in there. The hanging rack, I've got scrunchies, contact lenses, hairsprays, dry shampoos, clips, perfume, contacts, all the things. And then over here, I've got all my makeup. So brushes, brushes, all my makeup, all my little travel brush stuff. And I think we're like 
pretty much ready. And what time is it, Jaywaz? It's only 7.30, guys. We're not packing at 1 a.m. That's a win. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because it's mega, mega long, but I hope you guys enjoyed packing with me. And in my next video, we should be in Italy. I'm so excited to bring you guys along. It's gonna be amazing. Bye, guys.